See with what large letters I am writing to you with my own hand. It is those who want to make a good showing in the flesh who would force you to be circumcised, and only in order that they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. For even those who are circumcised do not themselves keep the law, but they desire to have you circumcised that they may boast in your flesh. But far be it from me to boast, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither circumcision counts for anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creation. But as for all who walk by this rule, peace and mercy be upon them and upon the Israel of God. From now on, let no one cause me trouble, for I bear on my body the mark of Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. So it is Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday, right? Come on, we're church, but we're also human, so we have our Super Bowl stuff, right? And you can pretty much tell on uh, any Super Bowl, like, who's on which side. How? Well, by the way they're dressed, by the things that they wear, the things that they shout out, right? The things that they say, you know, the colors that they wear, right? These are all marks, these are marks by which you can tell whether you're a patriot side or you are, you know, the other side. Yeah. 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 So you're either on the patriot side or you're on the other side. And you will dress accordingly. You will act accordingly. You'll say things accordingly. You will actually um, know even in their teams what they do by the positions that they play. These are all marks. They all bear the marks of who they belong to. See, our words, our actions, our lifestyles, our clothes, our possessions, our habits, and even our hobbies, our medals, our scars, our cars, our homes, our clothes, our Facebook, Cut Talk, and Snapchat accounts, us going to church or going to a soccer game for our kids on Sundays, they all mark who we are, what we've done, and do, and what we value and what we believe. Now, we have been learning, children, we have been learning a lot about grace for the past few months through Galatians. Grace is when someone speaks or acts or gives or shares and so on out of what? Out of love, right? Out of love and not out of obligation, not out of law. Out of love and not out of law. So, children, what and how do you think we bear the marks of grace? What can you say or do or be so that others around you know that you love God and you love each other? Now, since we are all worshiping together today, could you preach today's sermon? Could you preach today's sermon with me? And this is how you can help me with that. So I brought some stuff here, okay? Stickers. Well, I brought some stickers too. Let's see here. I brought these hats, just like, you know, the, the, the fans there. We got these blank hats. I got some crafts. I got some pens. I got some markers here, right? I even have stickers, right? Stickers with letters. I have uh, strings and everything else. So what I would love for you to do to help me with my sermon today is to... Make your own mark. How would you, what words would you write here? What things would you be or do to show that you are children of grace? That you will mark the grace. See, look, I did one right here. Look at this. Look at this. What does it say? Forgive, 
That's right, number four, and give, forgive, right? And then I even did this. Look at this. Be kind, be kind right? You don't even have to wear it as a hat. You could be a beard, right? You could be a beard or a necklace or, you know, sideways or an earring. Be creative, right? So during this sermon time, I would like you to decorate your hats to show how you would mark that you are children of grace, that you love God and you love each other. Next. Yes, of course. You can stay here as long as you like. I don't ever object to children wanting to stay in church longer than they have to, all right? All right, so you guys have it? Yeah, okay, all right. So it's only going to be in 15 minutes, and then you're going to have to show us how you would mark, you would bear the mark of grace, all right? And then make sure, make sure we have our youngest one join and, and help us too, okay? There we go. So why don't you make room for her? All right. So we have lots of marks, lots of marks that show or tell who we are, what we've done or what we do, and what we believe, what our priorities are. Even our handwritings are marks. That's why Paul in verse 11 today says, see with what large letters I am writing to you with my own hand. These days we don't write. We don't write with our own hands that much, right? No, we text, we cut talk, we Snapchat, we Twitter, we email, or we just tell Siri or Alexa to write a message for us and send it, right? Very few of us these days actually write with our hands. But we sometimes do because there's nothing like a handwritten letter or note to someone that says, I care so much about you, and I care so much about what I'm writing to you about today. See, Paul didn't always write his letters with his own hands. He often used his own voice recognition app. So Paul also used a very ancient and reliable voice recognition app, otherwise known as a scribe, okay? a person who listens to Paul and writes down what he wants to say on paper for him. That was the first voice recognition app that we had. Right? So he would usually dictate and somebody would write those letters. But to the Galatians, the Galatians were falling away from the gospel of grace and embracing the mark of the law that we've been talking about, the mark of the flesh, circumcision. And this was so concerning and heartbreaking to Paul that he wrote with his own hands and in big letters so that everyone gathered around could see the mark of Paul's own hand. Paul's handwritten letter marked his utmost desire that we, that we take up the cross and bear the marks of grace. That we take up the cross and bear the marks of grace. So I like to talk about marks and grace in two ways. Number one, we still desire the marks of our flesh out of sin and out of fear. We still desire the marks of the flesh out of sin and out of, out of fear. So number one, we still desire the marks of the flesh out of sin and out of... Did I say number two already? Oh, I'm sorry. So number two, and number two, we must take up the cross and bear the marks of the grave. I did say that, didn't I? I no, I didn't. Okay, so number two... We must take up the cross and bear our marks of grace. All right? So number one, we still desire the marks of the flesh out of sin and out of fear. Those who were insisting that all the, Galati the, the Christians in Galatia be circumcised, they wanted those new Christians to wear a mark. But it was not the mark of the grace of Christ. It was rather the mark of our bondage 
to the laws, our bondage to our flesh, our bondage to our own futile efforts and works and possessions that could not and would not save us or give us eternal life in God. And why would these folks insist on this mark of the flesh, the mark of our own works? Verse 12 says it's because they want to make a good showing in their flesh and in order that they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. Meaning, they were afraid. They feared being rejected and hated, looked down upon, persecuted by the rest of the world for their belief. And to be honest, we also have these fears about the world when we believe in Christ. Especially if you happen to be one of the first to believe in Jesus among your family or your friends or in your community or in your workplace. Thoughts go in our head, fears, like, oh man, everyone that I love, that I was part of, they're going to think that I am stupid, that I, am, I have gone nuts. And we kind of have, right? At least if we look at the, the world standard. They're going to think that I'm stupid, I, I've gone nuts, that I've actually turned my back on them, I've, I've abandoned them. What if they laugh at me, make my life miserable, ostracize me, have, will have nothing to do with me? Oh, okay, maybe I'll just pretend to be the same as I always have been, the same old me around them, and then I can sneak off to church on Sundays, and I could be very Christian among other Christians, then it'll be fine. Those are the fears that we have of rejection and hate for the belief and the faith that we have in Christ. But it's not only fear that drive us to put on the marks of our flesh, try to blend in with the world. We also do it out of our sinful pride. We do it out of our sinful pride. Thank you, God, for saving me, but step back because I can take it from here. I got this, Papa. I'm going to show everyone that I am now a holy and pure and law-abiding citizen of the kingdom of God. Everyone's going to love me now. Ah, I mean, I mean, love you. Uh, that's, of course that's what I meant. Everyone's going to love you, love you through me. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Jesus님, 살려주셔서 고맙습니다. 구원해주셔서 고맙습니다. 이제 그냥 보기만 하세요. 내가 얼마나 거룩하고 아름답고 양반처럼 살수 있는지 그냥 보고만 계세요. 그래, 이봐! 자네도 뭐 예수 믿는다면서 좀 정신 차려. 나같이 좀 제대로 살아야지. But what we have learned over and over again is that our works, our efforts will never, ever be good enough. And sooner or later, we mess up even more. Look, even the very best among us, the very best of those actually who were circumcised in the Bible, Abraham, Moses, Samuel, King David and Solomon, Jesus' disciples, and then in our world, presidents and pastors and missionaries and church elders and deacons and husbands and wives and fathers and mothers could not and did not themselves keep the law, according to verse 13. And those who are still insisting on bearing the marks of the flesh do so so that they may boast in your flesh. See, our sins and our fears drive us away from the mark of the cross. Our sins and our fears drive us away from the mark of the cross to what we know best and are used to, the marks of the flesh, so that we may boast in and of our futile works, which leads us to point number two. We must take up the cross and bear our marks of grace. We must take up the cross and bear our marks of grace. Paul's mark of who and what he is is the cross. 
According to verse 14, Paul only boasts in what? In the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. All my old ways, my marks of the flesh, have been crucified. I am no longer a slave to sin. I am no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I am a child of grace. No other marks, clothes, scars, jobs, diplomas, awards, hair color, circumcision or uncircumcision really matters anymore. I am, you are, you are, every one of you are a new creation. Verse 15, born again to have new life in Christ. New life by and in grace. 우리 일, 우리 재산, 우리 직업, 우리 교육, 우리 점잖 떨음이 아니라 은혜가, 은혜가 하나님의 교회의 표시와 흔적입니다. 주를 그리고 서로를 사랑하기에 은혜롭게 성기며 은혜 베푸는 것이 우리, 우리 은혜의 표시고 흔적이라는 것입니다. 은혜가 우리가 예수 따르며 지어야 할 십자가입니다. Grace is the mark of our new life together in Christ. Grace, not works. Grace, not works. As new creations, we are all new creations, as new creations, we should live by this rule, according to verse 16, that we live by grace, that we speak, act, serve out of love for God, love for God, right? and love for one another, right? Love for God, love for one another. Why? Because Jesus himself has done all of that, all the way, way to, and on that cross for his love for God and love for all of us. The cross was the mark of everything then, vile and shameful and painful and sinful, and Jesus bore it all so that the cross will be his and our mark of grace. Our mark of grace. So what could be the marks of Jesus that Paul says he bears on his body in verse 17 today? If you read the book of Acts and Paul's letters, you would be able to imagine all the scars on his body and on his mind, actually, as he traveled throughout the world, proclaiming and sharing the grace of Christ, the gospel of grace, often hungry, alone, tired, sick, imprisoned, beaten, stoned, and left to die. But Paul bore them all and did them all out of love, out of love for God and for others. Paul도 은혜의 복음을 위해 많은 욕, 핍박, 손해, 창피, 아픔, 배신, 어려움, 고난 다 당했습니다. 그러므로 바울은 많은 예수의 흔적을 은혜의 표시를 입으며 십자가를 지었습니다. Paul, empowered by the Holy Spirit, preached and lived and served, suffered in grace. Paul also bore the marks of Jesus, the cross. This is amazing grace, the ultimate mark of grace. And we who follow Christ must also bear the mark of this amazing grace out of love for God and love for one another. All right, children. I know that it was a short time, but wherever you are, would you be willing to share with us some of your marks of grace? It's okay. Come on up. All of you guys, come on up and show your, show your marks. And then you can finish the finish it up afterwards.
Testing. Okay. Come on up to the to the top here so that they can all see. All right. So song. Wait. Where's my mark? There it is. Okay. So song. What is your mark? Could you show it to everyone and then? Is hope. Is hope? Yeah. Okay. So hope for you is a mark of grace. Yeah. Okay. Kayla. What Mine's about actually you? grace itself. Grace itself. Well, that's, a good, that's a good mark, right? What about you? Uh, no, I forgot. It kind. says it right here. Be kind. Say it again. Be kind. Be kind. All right, guys, wear it so that we know like what it looks like. No, forgive. For forgive. Forgive. Okay. Be kind. Be kind. Mental bonds. Mental bonds, okay. Well, you're going to have to be more theologically, uh, have some longer discussions about that. All right, so we're all wearing our marks of grace, right? So great job. You think, you think the kids did a great job? Yeah? yeah. Hold it up. No, hold on, hold on. So don't, stay with me. Stay with me. So Paul, as we end this letter, Paul began his letter to the Galatians with grace, right? Grace to you, it says in, in chapter 1, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And he ends his letter today in verse 18 with grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. See, we have been saved and now live by grace and grace alone. So look upon these marks of grace, the children themselves. Look upon these marks of grace and the ultimate mark of grace, the cross. And let us together take up the cross and bear the many marks of grace. 우리도 성령, 성령 안에 십자가를 함께 지고 은혜의 흔적을, 은혜의 표시를 열심히 보입시다. Amen? Thank you, children, for helping me with my sermon today.